while a leading advisor to the World Health Organization described the unprecedented outbreak of monkeypox in developed countries as, quote, a random event that appears to have been caused by sexual activity at two recent raves in Europe. Earlier today, the WHO answered questions from the public about the emerging monkeypox outbreak seen in North America and Europe, emphasizing the disease is spread through close physical contact and can be identified by a rash. They're looking for people who have rash, um, so we can help them first and foremost to understand what their risk is. And we should say that most of the people who have been identified so far have had more mild disease or let's say not severe disease. Um, but anyone they come in contact with needs to be informed so that we can prevent onward spread. And the thing I just want to say here is that this is a containable situation, um, particularly in the countries like where we are seeing these outbreaks that are happening across Europe, uh, in, in uh, um, North America as well. Um, but we can't take our eye off the ball of what's happening in Africa as well in endemic countries. The WHO says they'll be making recommendations soon about who should get vaccinated to help with monkeypox. Priority would go to those who are in greater need. Health officials in Toronto are investigating the city's first suspected case of monkeypox. CBC News spoke to epidemiologist and cardiologist Dr. Christopher Labos. He shared what his biggest questions and concerns are about the disease. The, the, the biggest question now is how is it spreading? Uh, because we don't usually see a lot of monkeypox outside of Africa, and we don't see a lot of human-to-human -human transmission. Most of it is animal-to-human. So the question is, how is it spreading, and has something changed? Because you, you would ask yourself, like, okay, well, we always see some monkeypox, but why are we seeing more of it now? So has the virus changed? Is it transmitting more easily than it was before? Because if it is, then we're going to have to take certain steps to try to combat it. But if this is just random if we're just seeing more of it because COVID restrictions lifted and we're seeing more international travel, then that is explainable. And then that means it's also going to be containable. And we probably won't have to do much beyond what we normally do, which is contact trace and get people to isolate and contain the outbreaks before they get too large. It's, it's concerning in a sense in that we have to understand what's going on. We have to monitor the cases. We have to confirm how many of them there actually are. And we have to ice, contact trace and isolate all their contacts. So there's definitely work to be done. But we're not at a point where the public needs to panic for a couple of reasons. One, the number of cases is still very small. And so unless you've traveled to Central or Western Africa or come into close, physical, prolonged contact with somebody who has monkeypox, you're probably not going to get sick. Like, this is not something you're going to catch from somebody at the grocery store in the same way mm. that you could with, with COVID. So for most people, this is not a concern yet, but it is something that public health and the WHO needs to look into to understand why this is happening right now. And that was epidemiologist and cardiologist Dr. Christopher Labos in Montreal.